The breadcrumbs is a pro element. This element allows you to navigate around the site with many pages or with many posts when you have a blog that's quite lengthy and quite big. Here I have a page and just to show you, the page is currently linked to a projects page up here in my menu. What I want to do is I want to add the breadcrumbs feature over here so that people can keep track of all the projects and easily click between the links. Go to Add Elements, scroll down to the bottom where you see WP and you will see the breadcrumbs element appear over here. Click and drag it to where you want it to appear. It comes in by default with dummy text. This is not the real text that will display on the front end, but you can rest assured everything will look good on the front end. I'll show you in a short time. Let's align it first. Click on it to get the toolbar to pop up and align it to the right, to the left, and you can put it back in the middle. I want to add some space here just to align it with the text over here. Go to settings, more settings, and we'll delink the padding and give it 15 pixels on the left. What is left now for you to do is purely styling. And the styling can be done by changing the colors over here. You go to colors. You can change the active color for the page that is active. You can change the color of the arrows. And then you also have the option for the links when you hover over them, how you would like them to appear. It's just put that in a bright color so you can see how that will look. Go back to the default state. And now when you hover over it, they appear like this. You also can apply different topography to it as well as your own heading styling over here. This selection over here allows you to increase or reduce the spacing between the various pages or posts within the breadcrumbs. Let's save the work and go view it on the front end. Click Preview, and it displays very nicely. For responsive display, let's go to Tablet. It looks good on the tablet, and then on mobile, also looks good. You may want to reduce the spacing between the arrows for smaller devices to make sure it does not break into a second line, but the second line on a mobile won't worry you. What you could do on a mobile is to disable it so it does not display on a mobile. You can show and hide the disabled elements over here at the bottom. And now you can see that it's blurred out, showing you that this will not display on a mobile. For more Brizzy tutorials, make sure you subscribe here to YouTube, visit us at brizzy.io, and join the conversation at the Facebook community.